Gargi Vachanavi born about c. 7th century BCE was an ancient Indian philosopher. In Vedic literature, she is honored as a great natural philosopher, renowned expounder of the Vedas, and known as Brahmavadini, a person with knowledge of Brahma Vidya. In the 6th and the 8th Brahmana of Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, her name is prominent as she participates in the Brahmayana, a philosophic debate organized by King Janaka of Vidya and challenges the sage Yajnavakya with perplexing questions on the issue of Atman soul. She is also said to have written many hymns in the Rigveda. She remained a celibate all her life and was held in veneration by the conventional Hindus. Gargi, the daughter of sage Vachanu in the lineage of sage Garga c. 800-500 BCE was named after her father as Gargi Vachanavi. From a young age she evinced keen interest in Vedic scriptures and became very proficient in fields of philosophy. She became highly knowledgeable in the Vedas and Upanishads in the Vedic times and held intellectual debates with other philosophers. Early life Gargi was the daughter of sage Vachanu in the lineage of sage Garga c. 800 BCE and hence named after her father as Gargi Vachanavi. Right from a young age, Vachanavi was very intellectual. She acquired knowledge of the Vedas and scriptures and became renowned for her proficiency in these fields of philosophy, she even surpassed men in her knowledge. Topic. Later life Gargi, along with Vidava Pratithei and Salaba Maitreyi are among the prominent females who figure in the Upanishads. She was as knowledgeable in Vedas and Upanishads as men of the Vedic times and could very well contest the male philosophers in debates. Her name appears in the Griya Sutras of Asvalayana. She had even awakened her Kundalini indwelling spiritual energy, realized soul. She was a leading scholar who also made rich contributions to propagate education. Topic. Debate with Yajnavakya According to Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, King Janaka of Vidiha Kingdom held a Rajasua Yagna and invited all the learned sages, kings and princess of India to participate. The Yagna lasted for many days. Large quantities of sandalwood, ghee clarified butter, and barley cereal grain were offered to the yagna fire creating an atmosphere of spiritual sanctity and aroma. Janaka himself being a scholar was impressed with the large gathering of learned sages. He thought of selecting a scholar from the assembled group of elite scholars, the most accomplished of them all who had maximum knowledge about Brahman. For this purpose, he evolved a plan and offered a prize of 1,000 cows with each cow dangled with 10 grams of gold on its horns. The galaxy of scholars, apart from others, included the renowned sage Yajnavakya and Gargi Vachanavi. Yajnavakya, who was aware that he was the most spiritually knowledgeable among the assembled gathering, as he had mastered the art of Kundalini Yoga, ordered his disciple Samsrava to drive away the cow herd to his house. This infuriated the scholars as they felt that he was taking away the prize without contesting in a debate. Some of the local pundits scholars did not volunteer for debate with him as they were not sure of their knowledge. However, there were eight renowned sages who challenged him for a debate, which included Gargi, the only lady in the assembled gathering of the learned. Sages like Asvala, the priest in Janaka's court, Artabhaga, Bhujyu, Yushasta, and Uttalaka debated with him and asked questions philosophical subjects to which Yajnavakya provided convincing replies and they lost the debate. It was then the turn of Gargi to take up the challenge. Gargi, as one of the disputants in the debate, questioned Yajnavakya on his claim of superiority among the scholars. She held repeated arguments with him. Gargi and Yajnavakya's exchange centered on the ultimate warp of reality. Warp means the basic foundation or material of a structure or entity. Her initial dialogue with Yajnavakya tended to be too metaphysical, such as unending status of the soul, away from practical situations. She then changed her approach and asked him pointed questions related to the environment existing in the world, the question of the very origin of all existence. Her question was specific when she asked him, since this whole world is woven back and forth on water, on what then is woven back and forth, a question that related to the commonly known cosmological metaphor that expressed the unity of the world, its essential interconnectedness. 
In the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, 3.6, the sequence of her posing a bevy of questions to Yajnavakya and his replies is narrated as She continued with an array of questions such as what was the universe of the suns, what were the moon, the stars, the gods, Indra, and Prajapati. Gargi then pressed on with two more questions. Gargi urged Yajnavakya to enlighten her on the weave of reality and asked, Gargi was not satisfied and then posed the next question. Then she asked a final question, on what was Brahman world of the imperishable? Yagnavalakya put an end to the debate by telling Gargi not to proceed further as otherwise she would lose her mental balance. This riposte put an end to their further dialogue at the conference of the learned. However, at the end of the debate she conceded to the superior knowledge of Yajnavakya by saying, Venerable Brahmins, you may consider it a great thing if you get off bowing before him. No one, I believe, will defeat him in any argument concerning Brahman." Her philosophical views also find mention in the Chandogya Upanishad. Gargi, as Brahmavadini, composed several hymns in Rigveda in X39. V.28 that questioned the origin of all existence. The Yoga Yajnavakya, a classical text on yoga is a dialogue between Gargi and sage Yajnavakya. Gargi was honored as one of the Navaratnas nine gems in the court of King Janaka of Mathila. References Bibliography Ahuja, M. L. Women in Indian Mythology. Rupa Publications. ISBN 978-81-291-2171-4. Banerjee, Shurs Chandra, the 1st of January 1989. A companion to Sanskrit literature, spanning a period of over 3,000 years, containing brief accounts of authors, works, characters, technical terms, geographical names, myths, legends, and several appendices. Mudalal Banarsidas Publ. ISBN 9788120800632. Carmody, Denise, Brink, T. The 1st of January 2013. Sengage Advantage Books: Ways to the Center: An Introduction to World Religions. Sengage Learning. ISBN 1-285-41529-9. Gudkari, Jayant. The 1st of January 1996. Society and Religion: From Rugveda to Puranas. Popular Precaution. ISBN 9788171547432 Glucklick, Ariel, the 11th of April 2008. The Strides of Vishnu: Hindu Culture in Historical Perspective. Hindu Culture in Historical Perspective. Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780199718252. Great Women of India. No India. Prabhat Prakashan. 2005. ISBN 9788187100348 Kapler FIC Alexandra R the 1st of January 1998 Thailand Buddhism Society and Women Abhinav Publications ISBN 9788170173601 Kumar Raj the 1st of January 2004 Essays on Social Reform Movements Discovery Publishing House ISBN 978-81-7141-792-6. Modi, Rekha 1999. A Quest for Roots, Sri Shakti. Sri Shakti. Mukherjee, Radha Kumid the 1st of January 1998. Ancient Indian Education, Brahmanical and Buddhist. Mudalal Banarsidas Publ. ISBN 978-81-208-0423-4. O'Malley, Charles Donald 1970. The History of Medical Education, an International Symposium held February 5–9, 1968. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-01578-4. External links Women Philosophers Gargi, the first women philosopher.